Yes, stars, here we are, back again after the gym. Can you believe it? I finally went back to the gym. I'm finally going live more than <laughs> once in a while. Been messing with a little makeup here tonight, giving this Revolution Conceal and Define P5 Satin Matte Powder Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and Cannabis Sativa Another World. Is it making me look super powdery and dry? Well, went to the gym, took a shower. We got into some rose hip oil, and then we put more of this Revolution Balm Glow on. Then over that, we did some powder, and we've gotten into some almost imperceptible eyeshadow from e.l.f. We used the palest shade in the I Love You A Latte palette to set the lid that we primed with the Black Radiance palest shade, which is fair, but it's a black brand. So this pale yellow is their palest shade, and... We really didn't use anything except powder foundation and that concealer, and I think we look pretty good. Hi, Diana Acosta. Yasin is here. Ooh, ooh, just a little makeup look. We're experimenting. These two palettes, which are super small, super cute, super affordable, I Love You a Latte and Truffles. These seem like they are almost imperceptible, but you know that you've got eyeshadow on it's neutral no shimmer right there are shimmers in the palette but we haven't gotten there yet we've just gotten into this kind of palest shade to kind of do that basic kind of wing shape that reaches out toward the tail end of the brow taking it into the crease and then blending it but I feel like this looks so natural that the naive could be fooled into thinking that this is actually, <laughs> this is actually what my eyelids look like, right? Because it's just deepening the tone and especially the fattest part of the lid. Irene, UGC content creator. Hi, Irene, what's doing? How's your evening? I had a meeting and I forgot about it. I. It's not the end of the world, it's just a, a kind of group meeting I have had every Thursday, but I was caught up. It happens, you get caught up, right? There's a whole bunch of stuff that you need to do that is good for you to do. And sometimes, despite your best intentions, it's better to go with what it is that you need to do. So this is what the lids are looking like. Right, just squeezing that same brush, dragging this color under the eye, right? We could actually drag it into that primary crease under the eye to give us maybe a little Dewian makeup fat emphasis under the eye. All right, but just making sure that our priming concealer is not creasing, and then we can go into the next darkest shade, right? That very rich brown. I've heard about these palettes for years. I got them. They just sat. I kind of forgot about them because they don't look exciting. They don't look like, oh, let me try. You know, it's not like it's a purple. Ooh, now there's some pigment. It doesn't look like, oh, you know, pink purple excitement. It's not a festival look. Now, what do you think? It's pride, right? Grace Jones is performing in West Hollywood, in the park. Is it a good idea to go or should I chill? Right, just kissing that outer V, right? Just above that V with this darkest shade and then kind of stroking it up where? Toward the tail end of that brow. Just so that you're not creating a lateral or a pointing down look, but you're kind of touching the very fattiest part of the lid, just so that color is visible when your eye is open and you're getting the depth and color payoff, right? And really take your time with that blend because it's not what, you, it's not what I used to think. I used to think, oh, you just put the color there and you're done. It's like, no, a slow blend will help you 
look more like that could be natural, right? See the difference between this eye and that one? Here, there's so much heaviness and brightness to that uh, fold of the lid, right? And it's sometimes it's hard not to think that hooded lids are a problem, but sometimes the hooded lid is the very thing that makes you look like you and makes you look exotic. And, you know, maybe you don't want for safety reasons, for aesthetic reasons, for your, for your just raw eyeball with one little layer of flesh just sticking out. What if someone hit you? That extra layer might protect you. Rose Hackman, it might be the very thing that saves your eye from an assailant. I certainly have a friend who was walking his neighbor's dog who got attacked. They broke his occipital bone, the bone right here. He thought he might lose his sight in that eye, but it didn't happen because the good Lord, Mother Nature, his parents gave him just a little extra layer of protection. So we can't be mad. We just have to enhance what we have, right? Maybe we're not as tall as we want to be. Maybe we're not, yeah, like... I had lost a bunch of weight and then I got sick and I was like, let me chill. Let me not, you know, exercise too much. Let me just take it easy. And I finally, you know, feel better. I don't want to push it too far, but, you know, it definitely, there was gold doesn't rub off. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of appalled. That was not the cheapest brush in the world. And for it to be you know, just so raggedy. The gold just peeled off like, you know, just not a quality item. I don't even know where I, I washed that brush. Somewhere drying, but not this, not this guy. This guy still has all the gold on there. So let that be a lesson to you. Sometimes these brand name products and people. Who is Sonia Kashuk? I couldn't tell you, but I know her brushes are always on sale at Target. User 6021 is here. Welcome. Just a little makeup, right? Just a little blendy blend, right? And then we can add a little sparkle in the inner corner. Maybe a little eyeliner. We finally got into that Daiso eyeliner and it really wore well and overnight and through the shower and all of that good stuff now we do have a darker shade in this palette truffles which we could elect to stamp over to set an eyeliner so we can get into that don't worry the pride sponge is still here looking pretty pristine maybe we did a little little stain on it yesterday but I'm not mad. Should we take a moment and put on some lip liner? Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 2 might not show up on our skin, but we're going to try it. See what it's doing. We had put some of that Revolution Peach Balm on our lips, but we didn't line them. This might be just a little too subtle. I think it's doing something. But it ain't doing what those brown liners do. The brown liners are, because it's a dark color, muted, right? That's nice, but it's not brown. Pillow Talk, Charlotte Tilbury, question mark. There might be a Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 3. This is number two, medium. Eh, it really didn't, didn't really cut the mustard. Here is a minted lip liner in the shade dope. That might not be it. This one is in the shade nude. That might not be it. This one is in the shade bare. Sounds disappointing. <laughs> this one's nude. I want a brown. Here's an LA Colors lip liner pencil in the shade dark brown. That sounds right. Also from Daiso. LA Colors is a mainstay inside Daiso. We want to get it right under the center of the lip. It's a chocolatey brown. It's not a dark, dark brown. But again, we're trying to figure out what 
would be appropriate makeup for the office, right? If you're working with people you respect and you want to wear makeup, just like you want to wear a shirt with buttons, right? What is the right choice so that you look ready for a business meeting or a Zoom without looking like you're going on a date? Right? We overlined our lips slightly and they look slightly crazy. <laughs> I should just stop doing that. I, 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 because I see all the people do it, I do it, and then I'm always like, oh, I messed it up. Um, <laughs> but from here, what are we putting on? Are we getting into lava cake again? Or will that overwhelm the situation? Maybe we can go with this. Beautiful. Wet n Wild Rose. Comforting lip color. It's a hell of a title. It's in the shade Soft and Juicy. We do want to look soft and juicy. Maybe not too juicy at the job, depending on who you're working with. Makes a lot of noise. You can't scroll it back in, so don't scroll it too far out or else you'll be in trouble. Poetically Blue is here. What's up? You know, this mirror is blue and I would suggest almost poetically. It's kind of got a robin's egg kind of pattern. I don't know if you can see it. it, has these like little tiny dots, but it's just such a beautiful mirror. I'm starting to tarnish it from holding it, but I'm always happy to hold this mirror up because it, it just looks cute. It looks like it is purposeful and aesthetic. This product always delivers shine, right? It's not a thick glossy shine like a lip gloss it's more like a lip balm but baby you gonna be shiny and you're gonna like it yesterday's liner we have this shade which is slightly paler and then this shade which is slightly darker so i think we're gonna rock with the darker one just because it's evening and it's nice because it never is unsharp it's always sharp, it's always ready to go. So you can stroke it right at the base of the lashes. Just to give you a little more depth. I try not to mess with a lot of mascara and false lashes unless I'm gonna be, you know, in somebody's film or TV. My friend wants to shoot scenes for his reel so I'll be helping him with that. I'll write scenes and then film them with him so that you know we can get that done during the quiet strike times. <laughs> it's such a strange time to be in Hollywood but you know shout out to all the Rainbow Pages people who went up protesting here in Hollywood and also see the difference this eye is lined this eye is not, right? So it's almost like we're drawing an extra eyelash just to create some drama where the eye ends and also cheat and extend the eye, all right? So it can look like we've got bigger eyes than we do. Just a little optical illusion. And it doesn't need to be perfect and we can also stamp over it with our darkest eyeshadow so you know once you get to work on time once you you know you have to make sure you do that because you never know who's looking and trying to here's a little cheap weird brush why is it did someone clip it why does it have two levels of bristles so strange but very thin very thin like a knife right we could use the brush and I mean I guess we could kind of tap and stroke our liner first just to smooth out any skips or jagged edges in the line. Make sure it's doing what we need it to do. Really push it into the lash line. I know people say tight line, but I feel like these days I'm not really worried about tight lining. I feel like, do people really see underneath my lashes unless I do? what people do and just flip the lash up 
I feel like people see more of the top of my lid than the inside. I don't really think people are looking under there. Correct me if I'm wrong. Because, <laughs> you know, why place product where no one's really going to see it, right? It's like you want to do enough, right? It's almost like, what is it? Name that tune. You want to do enough so that it matters, right? Just tapping over that grease pencil so that it sets it, right? Just like if you use cream blush, you set that liner and also give it a little bit more depth because these are all neutral shades of dark brown. It gives a little bit more weight and hopefully will sustain it through dinner, sweating, crying, nervousness, <laughs> etc. But I always think this is quite enough. Enough to look lengthened and emphasized, enough extra darkness and setting is strategic so that I feel like the liner and this dark shadow look like makeup, but then in contrast, the rest of the shadow just looks like it could be shadow because there are people who have naturally dark lids. Now, from here, we could add a shimmer. We got options, baby. Not to worry. We have some ColourPop shimmers we looked at yesterday, but we also have this Jaclyn Hill glassy shimmer top coat. How cute. Can just use our finger and see if we can give a little kiss of brightness and sparkle. It's got a nice sort of moist feel. And just tap that onto the inner lid. Some people do halo eyes. I think my eyes are more built to have brightness and sparkle in the inner corner. I feel like the inside of my eye, given how heavy my brow is and how much flesh there is above my mobile lid, that putting dark shadow there would look a little heavy. Whereas I like how much lightness, shimmer, and this is very flattering. I know, I know with the Jaclyn Hill. I was listening to Marlena Stell from Makeup Geek talk on someone's podcast. I didn't get all the way through the podcast, but she was course talking about how dirty Miss Jacqueline did her you know and really did affect her business in a negative way and you know pumped her for information and then ditched her right it, it didn't it wasn't personal and it was business but it just tells you like there's a lot of people that you can't trust that they will be very happy to see you suffer and fall that's what I will say. So any remnants we can get on our cheeks. We also have some new dollar store blushes. Yes, for $1.29, you never have to be without having some blush, right? And it's it has shimmer in it. You don't have to spend $30, $40. I know Dior just came out with a bunch of new blush shades, but you really can. What did I use? Oh, this little spatula to get this out yesterday and smear it on the top just so that you're not putting your actual applicator into the product again and again. You can just get it onto the lid and hope that you're getting the right amount so you don't have to double dip, but let's... Let's be generous, right? Absolute New York, absolutely. Back comb it into the brows. This is a nice product because it doesn't seem to stick on your face and it doesn't seem to lift your complexion product, right? It's always a drag when you get lift and smear. You don't necessarily want that, but I highly recommend having a little tiny oof, spatula <laughs> at hand if you wanna get your brows in the brow game. So you can also scrape this little spoolie into the product and do some more back combing just for maximum lift. You wanna take all the product off the top and back comb, get your head hair out of there and see what's what. 
a lot going on in the world, right? There's a lot going on. Some of us are having to go into new job situations. You never know, right? It's going to take you a good while to really get to know what's going on. So having yourself all the way together with your wardrobe, your hair, your makeup, it leaves you less to be concerned about in the moment and kind of more free to focus on, you know, learning office culture, learning what's going on, right? What is going on? There's, there's a lot of kooky posts on TikTok. A lot of statistics that don't really add up. You know, I know we live in a world with like different news sources and misinformation and conspiracy theories, but you know, if, if I have to listen to one more person claim that um, the inside of the banana peel is going to make your hair grow or that, you know, <laughs> swallowing coffee grounds is going to be good for its nature's Viagra, I, I don't know what I'm going to do because it, it just seems made up, right? It doesn't feel like it's coming from someone who either knows what they're talking about or cares to be responsible, you know, about it verges on health claims. Oh, my mirror won't charge. I need to leave it plugged in and let it charge, charge, charge. But yeah, we're going to get into some dollar store. Dollar store blush. Let's turn up the lights a tiny bit. I think we look cute. It, it's it, it's helpful to me not to go in with a lot, a lot of product at the start. It's almost like, see how much product you need. See how long of a wing you need. How much brow product. How much complexion. How much powder powder. But we've got a few different shades. Right? Put a one in the chat if you have a favorite color of blush. These are peach, pink, and coral. Peach and coral almost look identical to me, right? And they have this sort of Dia de los Muertos. Uh, the Phantom is this one, which is pink. This one is Day of the Dead. Ioni Cosmetics, right? And then this one is sweets, and then this one is peach. So maybe let's get into coral and see what it's giving. Um, we did, as I say, hit our face with the Balm Glow in Peach Bliss. So nice. Even though there's a type O on the package, it says Luminous Finch. F-I-N-S-H. There's not a second I. Wait, let me mirror my video. There you go. Now you can read it. Luminous Finch. The missing eye. I wonder if they need me to email them and let them know. Or if they care. Anyway. Can I zoom in anymore? Yeah. Hair looking lopsided, of course. <laughs> it doesn't start that way. It really doesn't. Now this is the part where I get concerned that my hairline doesn't look symmetrical. Don't worry. Jason Wu is here somewhere for us to help us with this very, very concerning problem. We brought him back so that we could, you know. Oh, hold on. Where is my brush? Huh. Foundation brush, Mr. Jason Wu. So if we use the palest shade and then our handy mirror, right? It's just that my hair is pushed forward on this side, just so that we don't look imbalanced. It's not quite the same as using bronzer or contour. It's a powder and a cool tone that allows you to build the shape of forehead that you like, <laughs> right? If you're going to make adjustments, why not? 
why not make all the adjustments you want to make, right? We did not contour. Do we need to? Do we need to blend our eyeshadow anymore, right? It's looking at it right here. Take a moment and our cheap but still gold brush and just blend through our makeup so that we're getting a nice blend into the temple. We don't want any harsh lines. We don't want anything that's going to suggest to people that's not her real face that's makeup I want to dismiss any thoughts of that nature blend 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 so that we end up looking cute not suspicious these bombs have her face looking hella shiny but you know what? In the desert, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take it and run with it because the opposite is having, and we've seen it, pinched dry skin. <laughs> That's not what we want. But Himana is the name of this little creature. So sad. El Dia de los Muertos. Pigmented color. Soft texture. Buildable and blendable. Complements all skin tones. And you know what? I believe you. They they do their business correct, these Ioni people. They have lashes, lashes, lashes. Now, what's the proper brush for our blush purposes? We have an angled brush. How cute. And again, a little a little paper package. And what's nice, even at the price point of a dollar twenty-nine, oops, <laughs> it does have a magnetic closure. That's what I was trying to show you. But locally, I didn't break it. Quality. Things that travel well. Got it on the brush. Is that too much? We're going to use a light hand. And a lifted shape. Tap that on. See what it's giving. Right at the top of the cheekbone. Not coming too far in. Tap, tap, tap. Other side. Tap, tap, tap. Right? And it's almost like the balminess of our complexion products is giving it a lot of grip. Now, I'm always tempted to bring the blush low, bring it forward. And I feel like sometimes people do that on camera because then it looks like it looks like you can see it more but then it just gives a lot of like heaviness and it doesn't necessarily look the way that it should in terms of lift and where you might blush All right you look at yourself when i inspect my makeup after i'm done Sometimes I'm like, ooh, I brought my blush too low, right? It's tempting to drag it low when if you push it high and kind of up near the eye, that is a little bit of that do you makeup style, maybe on the chin. I'm at the party. I'm at the dinner party. I'm made up. I've overlined my lips. It makes me look like I've been drinking Kool-Aid out of the pitcher. <laughs> Maybe we can put a little bit on our forehead. Just, I like this little silver dollar. Kind of half moon at the temple. Half moon at the temple. On my particular face shape, you know, I get confused. People are always talking about round. I don't think my face is totally round. It's got a roundness my hair would stay where I want it and I'd be in business but I don't dislike this I don't even dislike the what do you call it dewy finish that's what a balm's gonna do for you you're gonna be balmy I don't dislike the lip color do we need to contour right can we take some of the Jason Wu powder and just give a little little clip to the double chin. 
little clip to the jawline without it being like a harsh crayon product, right? Fix up the hairline. Do we need to sculpt the nose further? Do we need to go in with more of a powder on the face? What do you think? Are we looking too dewy? We certainly have a whole bunch of different powders. Here's this Essence Brighten Up powder. Let's see what it does. What we would want is something that will mattify, but let's see if this will give us any, ugh, any joy. We also have this Revolution Press Powder. Should we keep it Revolution or should we mess with this? Let's mess with this. We have a powder brush that says face on it so you know it's meant, it's meant to be. Just getting it right there on the sides of the sweaty nose, center of the forehead. I think that worked out great. Just so that we don't look like we're in a flop sweat, like we're on trial or something. We want to look cute. We want to look professional. We don't want to look like we need to meet the plug. <laughs> That's never how you want to look at work. But look how long my neck looks just by having a lower neckline on this shirt. I won't call it a blouse. But you know, I want to give it to you. I put on my star earrings because you're all stars, right? Whether you're in Hollywood or wherever you are. If you're on TikTok, you're a star. And I think it was Bretman Rock, cover of Filipino Vogue. Congratulations to him. If you can't be on screen by yourself and hold people's interest, then you're not a star, right? It doesn't matter if it's five followers, it doesn't matter if it's 10, 1,000, 10,000, right? Your job is to come on screen and be interesting so that people who care about makeup or sports or Shannon Sharp or any of that stuff will find you, right? And maybe appreciate what you have to say. Or maybe disagree with you strongly. I have all the sympathy in the world for the people who are dealing with people following, what is it, stalking and doxing and all that. These elf palettes, if you see them, grab them. Valuable. Very natural. And you can separately add shimmer of your own for a nice subtle brightness in the inner corner. What's nice about these little pot shimmers whether it's color pop or jaclyn hill they don't wander all over your face like the powders do they kind of set down and live where you put them and that's what you want you don't want glitter all over your face like you're like you've been to the gentleman's club you are you're at work you get these little this one's coral buildable and blendable blush for a dollar it's giving the hula packaging but much thinner and much more affordable. Love it so much. Have a few other colors that dollar store is coming for your next drugstore and what is it called? Department store <laughs> and makeup specialty store. They're coming for your next. I know. I know it must be pleasurable to spend up a heap of money on high end cosmetics and roam around with those. Um, cosmetics, but you know, it, it's, it's sort of like, you know, I see people driving nice Range Rovers and nice, you know, AMG version of vehicles and all of that. And it looks really cool. But <laughs> if you're acquainted with one of the other picture apps, there's a, an account called, there's some accounts that cover the mayhem that goes on on the streets. I used this brush this morning to get on some of this Revlon Skin Lights, and it wasn't, it's never a satisfying application. But while we're, while we're here together and we have a moment, please feel free to like and share and subscribe. This Jason Wu Brow and Hairline Powder, highly recommend it if you can get hold of it online or at Target. I don't know what that's for. But we also got the Jason Wu Trio de 
Trio de Serlingers. That's, I guess, how you say highlighters in Spanish. French, sorry. <laughs> My teeth are aching. I flossed really well, and then I went in with one of several electric toothbrushes. My teeth are just, like, talking to me. You'll have to forgive me. I'm not able to think properly, but, yeah, you know. I'm over here, I'm always interested in raising money to get a tattoo <laughs> tattoo money <laughs> but yeah here we go we got to use our <laughs> special spatula to get into this hermetically sealed it's good for security so you know no one's been in it so awful when you go to like marshall's and tj maxx and people have shamelessly gotten into products that they did not buy and then they leave them for the next person damaged because they were curious jason Wu, i didn't know that these shades would be for me because they seem super pale right we tried to mattify the face right but now we're gonna go in and try to give a little highlight moment right to make that cheekbone pop and other areas of the face. What's your favorite color? The, the white, the gold, the pink? I guess we should go for the white, Rowan WS, right? Do they have names? Radiant Trio of Beautifully Curated Pressed Highlight. They do not have names. Well, we're gonna go in with the palest one. We might mess up our makeup, so here goes. I'm gonna use this fan brush fan brush of suspicion. I'm going to have to look into a mirror because the viewfinder, my screen is mirrored. I'm never going to do this right. So right here. Uh oh, oh, I got it in my hair. Maybe let's use this brush to kind of blend it out. It definitely does what it says it does, right? A little frosty highlight and just blending it in with this brush. It's always frustrating to me when people put highlighter on and then it's everywhere. But the trick is to try to get it where you want it and not have it go everywhere. Hmm. See what I'm saying? It almost looks liquid on the skin. That's very pretty. I would not have thought that this shade would work for me. Down the center of the nose. And then on the tip of the nose. Hmm, Jason Wu, you did your thing. I didn't think this product would really be for me. And I don't necessarily understand the application but I do know this above the arch of the brow top of the cheekbone not in the temple I have seen Rihanna do that and you can even put some here under the brow arch this color doesn't look as crazy as I thought it would on my skin tone I thought it would look like <laughs> talcum powder but it doesn't, it really does give highlighter. Ooh, I got in my brow. It gives nose bridge, nose tip, a little bit on the cupid's bow, right? Maybe on the sides of the chin, a la Bella Hadid, just to make my chin a little bit more prominent. But you know, with strategy and precision, not all over the face, brow, top of cheek and when I look at myself in the mirror I can see what and how and where right not too far forward but with a plan mm, Jason Wu did the thing you did the thing just like Angela Bassett quality and affordable Love it so much. You're going to see these other colors because, again, I wouldn't necessarily wear this at work unless it was like an evening event. But, and I did bring it too far forward here. 
end there. It should stop, I would say, at the corner of the eye. The nose highlight is a little bit big, but you know, it's not like you can't see it. I'm, I'm kind of impressed. Kind of. <laughs> I'm kind of like, wow. Let's try this darkest shade of Jason Wu hair powder. See if we can finesse our hairline. Mm -hmm. Should we take a little bit and contour a little bit? I'm getting no color payoff, but maybe that's okay. I remember the first time someone contoured my face for an event. And I was like, why are you putting a dark smudge under my... What are you doing? But I was too intimidated to say anything. I didn't know. Now I know. <laughs> Quality products from our friends Jason Wu. Definitely Revolution. This Absolute New York Maximum Hold Brow Gel. I haven't been disappointed yet. I definitely get lift through the brow. It's not laminated, but I didn't push them down that way. And I do have quite a bit of oil on my face, but... It's not a natural makeup once you go into the highlighter, but I will tell you, right? You see people with strong runway looks. You see posts on here about makeup looks from television show or movie to movie, right? And having that plan, knowing neutral eye, more naturalistic blush, layered on, overline, center of the lip, glossy lip, right? A matte lip doesn't make sense if your skin is this kind of dewy, but then hitting that highlight strategically, it's not all over your face. You don't want to look like you're some sort of amateur and you're just smudging things all over your face. You do want to look like you've smartly and strategically put it on so that when you're having a meal with someone or colleagues, definitely. <laughs> Gotta anticipate the haters. You gotta know that if you make a mistake, somebody might be looking and giving their opinion and then maybe it's not even about hate but they're going to be giving their opinion are you ready are you ready for that because your preparation time at home mentally you know psychologically it's here to help you come up with a plan come up with a level colors of makeup products that can travel with you things that are affordable not going outside your comfort zone in terms of how much product is on your face, but when you need to show up and show out, even just here on TikTok Live, you're going to be ready and looking intentional. So that is what I uh, have for you tonight. That's right. Roman WS is here. I don't have the strongest Wi-Fi signal, but thank you to everyone who has joined me here on my live. I'll be trying to be more regular these days. Wish me luck with everything and I wish you the same and I will see you soon. Later. Bye.